So let's Zucker. start off from the last video we made, which was the Triple Crown Convention. Showed what that convention was like. It was really awesome, very unique, different, one of a kind. First time it's ever happened. So check that out, Triple Crown Convention. But this is the stuff that I got from there. Hello world, hope you're doing good. If not, as always, hope it gets better for you. I got a video for you, I know it was a while ago, from the Triple Crown, what all I hauled back. Wanted to share with you guys, catch you guys up, be coming out with a lot of videos, just trying to catch up with what was going on. So here's the start of that. If you guys wanna see more killifish, more types of killifish videos of them, what they look like, I've got a plethora of videos in my channel already. So go ahead, YouTube search LRB Killifish and you'll find some stuff. So let's get to it. Ah, uh, made it back home. All right, back to the fish barn. Now time for the haul. Big thing I got that I wasn't expecting getting. These three 50 gallon low boys from Zoomed. These things surface area wise are the size of, is half the size of 48 by 96 piece of plywood. That's half the size of a board of plywood. And I also got some plants. This came from Willie, the ethiologist. I think somebody gave them to her. She couldn't take them with her, so she gave them to me. And give them to Lady LRB. And as far as fish, this is what we got. I had to protect it from the cats getting on top of it. We've got some in here. We got a few in there. Line them up. Let's go through them. All right, let's run through these fish. Here I've got some Neolampras. Neolampras Pulcher Daffodil. Cool little cichlid. A bunch of them in the bag. Nimba Panchex, Peter's Eye, Banco Park, Jack Keller. If you guys have not seen this fish room tour on my channel, definitely recommend checking that out. Really neat, pretty killy, male, female. And then I got some rainbow fish. Chilled Nathernia Alani. Rainbow fish. Three bags, Melanotania goldii, Kira, Kiru, Kira, pair of Walker Eye, Epsian, 2018. Walker Eye. Seven tiny little Panda Gara Fauntras. Itty bitty ones. Some super amazing, fun little pen checks, Cribians, Cribianus, Fifinda, 80K0931. These guys, this is something magnificent. Trying to hide, at least I can see you now. Mm. And the female, not as colorful, but the males, oh my god. I'm so stuck in there. Come on, buddy. There we go. Free. Stay free. Then another bag of Nimba Panchex, Peter's Eye. Some Amphisemian Camponints. Camponints. Another beautiful killifish. And when the females got some color, but you can see the males definitely got a lot of color. And then here we've got, what are these? Oh, these are from Ray's Aquatics. Boy Robert gave me some Madagascar rainbow fish. Excited about those. Some Amphisemian Ogins. I could be pronouncing that wrong too. Not the best at pronouncing all the killie names. I do fairly well, but so I'm still tricky for me. You see the females even got some color on that one too. Amphisemian Rada Banga, new and rare. Beautiful red line. Looks like it's got quite a bit of yellow on the top and bottom, which is really neat. Spooky too. And we got a blue glass, one of the paint checks, just steady. This is the low, low strain, which has a lot of the blue and red in it. These guys are big ones. And we got Amphisemian Escherichi. And some lightning and thunder. Another beautiful red line. And we 
you got another fun little pan check squawker eye. These are from the AKA National Convention Auction. So these are all the like real breeders. Got some Blue Glorus from DeSalza. If you guys don't know who Peter DeSalza is, he's in Canada and he is very well known for his Blue Glorus. Very, very well known. They're like, it's legit stuff. Come on, gang. Okay. Can't see him. You can kind of see him. The double bag's not as clear. There, he's rascally. Two bags of Golden Wonders. I couldn't help myself. This is one of the first fish I ever bred. This is the first fish I ever bred. It was a Golden Wonder Killy fish. They had a huge pair at the fish store one time, and I was like, oh my God, what are those? And I was hooked. That was about the same time I was getting into playing in aquariums. So I figured I'd get a couple of pairs of them. Maybe mess around. And my boy, Brandon, big shout out to you, Brandon May. For hooking me up with these killifish eggs, no thilbrancus, and for the awesome food while we were down there, the hospitality, you're awesome, bro. I really appreciate it. No thilbrancus, that's the red type, uh, Mafia Island. So it does have collection point. These need to be added some water here pretty soon, and some water. Those are fun. If you guys have never done peat moss and killifish eggs, it's really neat. You just add some soft water you want. RO or distilled water, add that. Then after the fry raise up and come out, then you can add them to aquarium water. But it's good to keep the water sterile for the eggs and hatching. And then I've got some more than another Nimba pan checks, Peter's Eye from Jack Heller, which a lot of these I'm gonna be putting on the website and just help spread out to you guys. And here another uh, Walker Eye Epsium. And here, and they're just slowly running out of air in that bag too. There's so many of them. I gotta get them out, but yes, yes. Blue Glorus. I got four pair in here. So I did get some of these to share with you guys as well. And I couldn't help myself. I had to get some more Cynodonis Lucipinus. Get Keep the gene pool going, you know? Because I got some younger ones of the ones I had. I put them with these and maybe split them up in different colonies. We can never have enough of those. So that's all the fish brought back. Now time to give them fish bass. If you guys haven't seen my fish bass, you can YouTube search it. But yeah, that's my next step. Give all these guys bass and get them into a little quarantine, which, which somewhere I'm probably gonna use containers to quarantine all these with and do it in the house. Still got a lot of those little containers that aren't being used. And while I process these, I'm gonna go ahead and keep them covered, keep them sleeping because that's what keeps them calm. And I'll just work through washing them out. Got my towels ready. Containers are ready. Gonna custom some tops. And I got some aquarium water with a bunch of algae covered plants. Hope you guys liked the video. If not, then well, hit the like button anyways, because that would be helpful. And if you wanna see what my emergency temporary quarantine setup is and also what it's become, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'll be coming out with that next, plus a ton of other videos coming to you guys, all on fish keeping and connecting with mother nature. So I hope you guys have a good one. Till next time, everybody, peace.